you've been talking a little bit about some newer vaccines that are out on the market now. Wouldn't it maybe be a better idea to wait until there's more data on the, on the new vaccines that are out? I, I think that's a great question. And, and, and probably the, the, the best way to answer is to look at our newest vaccine. The, the most recent vaccine that was made available in this country was a, a vaccine to prevent a bacteria called pneumococcus. Pneumococcal vaccine has been made using um, a strategy which is virtually identical to that used in a vaccine um, for Haemophilus influenza B. That's a vaccine children have been getting for over 10 years. Now here's a vaccine that has already been tested in tens of thousands of children for several years and we know it to be safe. But, but a parent could say, well, why not wait five years or 10 years until the vaccine has been put in, in millions of children so that I can just make sure. And I think what parents need to realize is, is what we do know about pneumococcus. What we do know is it is the most severe bacterial infection of young children. I rode with him in the ambulance down to the next hospital. Um, when they got out of doing their triage and, and immediate care for him, they basically told us at that point that Jake was in a coma, he was on a respirator, he was not breathing on his own, and that he wasn't going to make it. They fought for him for, it was 14 hours and 45 minutes later, and um, Jake was pronounced brain dead at that point. So while parents are waiting to see whether or not the pneumococcal vaccine is safe five or ten years from now, they're taking the risk that every year their children could be one of those children that's permanently harmed or killed by that bacteria, and it is a risk that is simply not worth taking. In all cases, vaccines are undergoing what's called post-licensure surveillance, and those are actual, actually research studies to evaluate a vaccine's safety once it's licensed. Parents may remember a recent episode with a rotavirus vaccine. That vaccine was licensed um, in the late 1990s to protect young children against serious gastroenteritis. But once it became licensed, there were very, very rare cases where children actually developed problems likely related to the vaccine with their gastrointestinal tract. And within less than eight months, that vaccine was discontinued. No more children received it. And so I think that shows the ongoing surveillance and prompt responses that um, uh, groups like the Centers for Disease Control have had in maintaining um, and establishing the safety of new vaccines.